Okay, here's the deal. I'm very behind on school, and that is basically a part of my personality at this point. I suck at school. You know what? I was decent at school in high school, but high school is a lot easier than university. Also, doing university online, and <clears throat> I'm not doing it online because of COVID like everyone else. I'm doing it online because I chose to do it online, so that means it's my fault, um, and it's always going to be online forever, so it's just hell. It's just hard, okay? You know what? That's all it is. Sometimes I just want to give up. I'm behind on school, like I always am. I had an audition today again. Pew, 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 pew. I'm gonna tell you what it was for, because I think it's really funny. It's a vampire movie. <laughs> uh, and I play Edward Cullen. It's very exciting. I love Twilight, so it's... It was awesome to do, but there's no way I'm gonna get this role. I... There's no way. I have to read this entire book. Here's the deal. English major over here, if you didn't know, which means absolutely nothing. This is the school for scandal and other plays. I have to read this all in one night. Well, I'm gonna try to at least. Now, I've done this before. I did this with Frankenstein. I suck at time management. Basically, I've been avoiding my English class because it's really pissing me off ever since I got that C+. <clears throat> so I am uh, protesting by not reading anything. So I really have to read this. Tomorrow I have a discussion forum due and I really want to participate in that discussion forum because my professor marks the discussion forums. He gave me an A on my discussion forum posts. Clearly he just thinks my work is good because it is. I just, I need to stop talking. I'm gonna read this. You can't see, but it's knowing school for scandal is the only one I have to read. Now, I'm gonna make sure that's the only one I have to read. This, woo, do I not look like Jimmy Neutron right now? Hello. I'm gonna search this up and then I'll get back to you. All right. Okay, the blessed thing is that I realize I don't have to, I literally only have to read this much. Let's get this shit going. My dear friend Anne, the girl who had this book, who I, who I stole it from, who I killed, I didn't kill Anne. Somebody else might have killed Anne, but I did not, in fact, kill Anne, if you're watching. Anne. Okay. <laughs> Let's act one. A school for scandal. Guess, oh, it's still going. It's on to the next page. Let's keep going. Okay, here's the deal. If you have tuned in to the other video where I read all of Frankenstein in one day, it was painful, but I had to do it audio and speed it up, and then I also read the book like while listening to it. That helps me read novels faster. But with plays especially, it can be helpful to listen to audio. Fun fact, pretty obvious, but it's just easier to listen to audio because it's usually acted out and then you have like different voices saying like the dialogue. So it's, I think it's easier to follow the story. So I don't know why I didn't just start off by doing it. Where's my phone? Act you one. gotta be. Act one of the school for scandal. <laughs> hey, I have more than one stress to causing a tete a tete in the town and country magazine. Tete a tete. What the fuck is going on? A tete a tete. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I was reading it and I got past act one and mind you I did have the audiobook on and I did not know what was going on. Uh, I need visuals for this. So this is what it's come down to for now. Okay, I can't, I can't listen to that. Oh wait, you gotta be kidding me. If this is all in song, I'm going to shoot myself. What the fuck are they singing about? The whole thing is singing. The whole fucking thing is, it's an opera. Dude, I ain't into that shit. Oh, this is gonna be a hard night. Do I give up? Don't, don't give up, don't give up. This looks like a movie. It's two hours and 44 minutes long. I think I'm gonna watch the movie instead. I'm even more lost now because this movie isn't going by <laughs> what the script is. I gotta go back to the audiobook. That probably makes the most sense out of all of this. This is so sad. Okay, maybe I'll try attempting to watch the movie after I finish the audiobook. But we gotta go back to square one, go with the audiobook, because right now that's the only thing that makes sense. I'm not going back to like some opera shit. That's just ain't it. God bless. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Congratulations. This is awesome. Now, sir, you see we are quite in at once. And may proceed to business. 
without father or son. Next to Frank, upon my word. I see, sir, you are not a man of many compliments. Yeah! <laughs> You're glad to hear that, little pig. Most undoubted. But, sir, as I understand, you want... Enter careless. Come, Charles, what keeps you? I can't come yet. Okay, I finished it. Thank God. What time is it? Oh my God. It's 11.45. Let me tell you, I did not understand a single fucking word of that. You want to know what I did learn? I learned that what the plague is another variation of what the fuck. I'm gonna start saying what the plague because I think it's kind of funny. Out of all the people, like three of them are ones that I can actually remember. I meant to have my tea time and actually like do work after because obviously like tea time is like caffeine time and it's 12 a.m. Well, it's past 12 now. And I wanted to have that caffeine so I could, you know, do my work. Uh, I'm watching the Umbrella Academy season two. I can't stop, it's so good. So, oh my God. I've just, I have to keep watching. And now I'm hyped up on caffeine so it just feels right. So uh, I'm probably gonna be up for a while. There's no way. There's no way. I don't understand what's going on in half. The beginning third of the play, all of Act 1, I was so lost. It was just people talking. It felt like I was at a lunch table with people I hated. It. I don't know what was going on. Everybody was talking shit, though. <laughs> Summary. Lady Sneerwell. Oh, yes. The Sneer Man. The Sneer Lady, I mean. Aided by her intimate snake. Yes. Snake. Like Snape, but without the P and the K. Instead, the K. <gasps> Maria? 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 Maria is, or they call her something else. Some of them call her Maria. Some of them call her Mariah. I'm like, that's not the same thing. Let's label it as one thing. Don't confuse me. Everybody's trying to expose each other. Oh my god, Lady Sneerwell starts the story off and she's actually like a bad person. <laughs> I think everybody's a bad person. I don't like anybody in this. I think if anything, Maria, homegirl, Maria, Mariah, Maria, 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 Maria. Poor bitch is caught in the middle of this. Basically, at the end of the play, Charles is supposed to, like, marry Maria. Like, is, is um, what's it called when you get engaged? Propose. He's supposed to propose to Maria. And he has all, the, like, the elders around. And they're like, you can now marry Maria. So do it. And then he goes, already done. And then they're like, how would you do it when we're right here? When? And he goes, I did it months ago. Two minutes ago. And you're like... What does that even mean? And then Maria's like, well, hold up, what the fuck do you mean? You didn't ask me to marry you? Not once did you say those words. And he goes, shut the fuck up, bitch. That's not important. You're getting my inheritance. So sit your ass down. And he's like, see? Great relationship. We're engaged. Poor Maria is just, she's this young girl. You can tell by her voice. She seems young and she's being thrown around, tossed around. They're like, send her to Joseph and they're like send her to Charles and not once has has Maria been like let's save Maria God save Maria this old guy who's like older than this young woman who got they married they hate each other they're like toxic toxic relationship they talk shit about each other and then they come together and then she's like give me two hundred dollars and then he's like fine I'll give you two hundred dollars but you have a bad temper and she's like I don't have a bad temper you start things and he's like I don't start things and she's like yes you do and he goes see you're doing it right now you have a bad temper and she goes I don't have a bad temper because you started it and I don't do anything and then he goes I want a divorce and you're like 
congratulations. Uh, so you think they're gonna get divorced? And she's like, I would never be happier, whatever the fuck she says, I don't remember. And then she goes off and then she runs to this guy, Joseph's house, Sir Joseph Surface. The Mr. Clean Surface Man, Joseph, goes to his house. I don't know if she's hooking up with him. I don't know what the fuck is going with on with her and Joseph, but it seems like, like Miss Teasel and Joseph are getting it on. And so they're there like they're gossiping. And then Mr. Peter, Sir Peter Teasel, comes to Joseph, Joseph's house, and, cause he's buds with Joseph. He's like, Joseph is like a son. I love Joseph. Okay, Joseph also has a brother named Charles, but Peter Teasel likes Joseph. He goes to Joseph's house, and Joseph is like, holy shit, your husband's coming over. Hide in this cabinet closet curtain thing. Peter Teasel comes over and he's like, I just love you, I love you so much, and I think my wife is cheating on me with your brother, Charles. Sir Peter, his ward is Maria, okay? And then, and he thinks that Joseph and Maria are are like, you know? He's like, you know what? You're the best, Joseph. Your brother's a piece of shit. And Joseph is like, oh no, he's not. Don't say those things. And then Sir Peter's like, you're so humble. And I believed it. I thought Joseph was a good person too. And his brother Charles has a big stick up his ass and thinks he's top shit. And I just don't like that in a person. But it's all so confusing. You find, oh, and then, and then the uncle of Joseph and, and Charles comes and he disguises himself. And he's like, he interviews them. And then he's like, actually, Joseph is a piece of shit. He's talking shit about me in front of my face, but he doesn't know I'm his uncle, but he's talking shit about Sir Oliver, and I'm Sir Oliver. So he goes, I'm gonna give my fortune to Charles, the one that everybody thought was bad, but I think he's a real good guy. And then everybody turns on Joseph and is like, we must expose Joseph, he's a piece of shit. I don't know who Joseph is banging in the end. Uh, I know he's not banging Maria because Maria is actually banging Charles. Uh, I don't know if Joseph is banging Lady Teasel, but I think Lady Teasel might be banging him, and then she lies about it. Everybody's a backstabbing bitch. <sighs> okay, that's, m m I think, my summary on it. I'm gonna go to my class and see what my students have to say. A personal congratulations to you for putting up with this. Peace out, homies. I'll catch you guys next time.